Mary Lou MacDonald has hinted at not attending IRA commemorations if she becomes Taoiseach. That's in the papers this morning. The Sinn Féin leader said that she would be a Taoiseach for all and not attend events that would cause offence. She would attend events, she says, that would be the norm for Tishi to attend. And she said there is some protocols around all of this. And this was speaking in response to a question surrounding the controversy caused by Sinn Féin's John Finucane attending an event to commemorate South Armagh volunteers over the weekend. Shane, what do you make of it? I think it is a welcome uh, comment from Mary Lou MacDonald. I think there has been an attempt uh, by Sinn Féin to rewrite the history and rewrite the narrative of the the Troubles. They've done it very successfully uh, and the narrative now is there was no alternative to the Troubles. Those of us who are old enough to remember what happened know that there was an alternative. But why it's particularly important that uh, Mary Lou MacDonald, if she does become Taoiseach, does not attend such uh, events is because... It's worth remembering that back then, the IRA's stated goal was to overthrow the state. It was to overthrow the government and the state. They did not recognise the existence of a state. And the the troubles were fought, uh, not primarily, but partly on that basis. So the idea of a a Taoiseach uh, uh, attending an event that commemorated people whose goal was to overthrow the state would be appalling as far as I'm concerned. So I think it is really important that Mary Lou MacDonald uh, clarified that. I would welcome it hugely. I would also welcome it. I I think she said the right thing. Uh, It really does show that Sinn Féin are getting ready for power, doesn't it? Because this this is a move, a deliberate move by Mary Lou to say, don't be afraid if I become Taoiseach it's going to be okay everybody and and I think I, I do welcome it but it's it's quite interesting in political terms but I agree with you I think attending um, those of us and I'm also old enough to remember uh, legitimising terrorism is not something that we want in this state and many of us did not support an armed struggle and uh, I know some people obviously do but most there people, were, most were people const- at the time in Ireland it, it, hated the violence. It's forgotten, uh, conveniently forgotten. There were constitutional nationalists at that time. Yeah. There, there were people like uh, John Hume and Seamus Mallon who chose uh, a, a different path. So most idea- ordinary Irish people, particularly in the Republic of Ireland, abhorred the violence. I mean, there was obviously always well, a, a support. remembering Sinn Féin support during the Troubles was around 10%. So it, it, it that's in Northern Ireland, uh, in the North itself. So it wasn't yeah. as widespread. But look, it's a really interesting point. I, I, I do think it, it, it is welcome.